In this video, I took a little bit of work, and I tried to work on building my base in a creative test world, so I know what to put in the final build for my Novacraft Season 2 base. So without further ado, let's get right into it, and hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button, and I will really appreciate it. So, let's get into it. What I should probably get started off with is... Our restrictions. This giant gold block outer liner is what we have to deal with. This is where the major builds of the base is gonna bust. So obviously over there would be my villager breeder and the tree. That'll stay there and there's there's the village. And then here is where the builds are gonna be going. So I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. But first things first, what I want to do is I'm gonna Hmm, I don't know what to do, really. See, I'm, what I want to do is I want to terraform it all up to layer 75, which is this block right here. Right, 75. And then, and here's me all the major, well, most of the farms are going to be going. So I'm going to kind of plan out where, like, the farms are going to go. Oh, and I just realized, I have two days to record this video. Oh, no. All right, so here's about half of the farms with it. So we have the iron farm, melon pumpkin, sugar cane, uh, what is that? Cactus farm, bamboo, and cobble farm. And in the sky, in the center somewhere of this, hopefully one block center gap area, I think, is going to be the mob farm. So there'll be a general mob farm. It'll be hung up, so the outer structure itself will be like hanging on to it, which I think will make it really cool instead of it just not being suspended in the air. And then this area over here, which I'm going to outline in a second, is going to be for the store system, the village trading hall, and a few other miscellaneous things as well, like a chanting setup, um, other stuff like that. And I think that'll be really cool. The mob farm will just be AFK, but it won't be an experience based. It's just one you can AFK at. And then all the farms will like do under their own source system over here. I think will be pretty cool. So I'm just going to outline that now. I might also want to add that the nether portal is also going to be going here. And we're just going to teleform this off to the area. So it'll pretty much be like a flat floor underneath this thing as well, except the iron farm, and all this farm is like go through the center store system, which will be right about here or so, I mean, it might be made a civilian trading hall, I don't know. Point is, it's done, and this is, it, it's looking pretty mean, it, it's, this is a pretty distinctive setup. I just realized that it's kind of pretty much symmetrical, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. So now I'm going to try to figure out like an outer design, which I'm going to be using mainly iron, because that's what the iron farm is for. And I might use a little bit of cobblestone, so cobble and iron. That's the build palette that we're using. Now, I'm no builder, but this looks cool. This looks insanely, insanely, insanely... Insanely cool. Okay. So this is looking really industrial. So I see we'll have the pillars go up in the center. But this is a good start. So it's made out of stone bricks, glowstone, and bone blocks. And because that's also something we're producing from our farms, and I think it's gonna look really, really, really cool. And we have smooth stone around the edges, and it looks very, very industrial. Now, I'm like I said, I'm not a very good builder, but I definitely would say that this looks 100 times better. So now, so you can get a screenshot. I am gonna terraform up this little sides of the sides or anything, so that that will work. And with a lot of block placing later, this is our. F this is what it looks like. I think. Yeah, this this looks really cool. I definitely think that this is a very good start to our base. Really, really, really well. Definitely, definitely think that it has gone really, really well. All right, time on to stage three. Now, stage four is building up the farms. And to be honest with you, I don't feel like building those farms up right now. I mean, I have two days to record this video, and this took me about two hours to do, so I do have two days still left to record this. I will eventually get to it soon. I don't know what to do with the iron farm. That's a, that's a big problem. The iron farm is the biggest problem here. How am I going to squeeze a fairly efficient iron farm into this into this small space right here? I'm not sure how I would do it, but I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it, because otherwise the video won't come out. But if you don't fear anything from me for a little while, it's probably because I'm figuring out how to figure this iron farm out. And to I don't really feel like building up the farms once, building them up twice again in the same. So I think this is where I'm end up for the video today. If you guys liked the video, leave a like. Don't forget to make sure to subscribe. My name is an engineer. All the engineers out of here. I'll see you all in the next one. And to be honest, oh my god, this 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 looks so cool. This looks really really cool. All right.
right, see y'all later. And the 20 second outro at the beginning of the video is the fact that I actually still have not rendered episode 3 of Novacraft yet. So that's, that's still to be done. I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for Keyvoids to finish up his part of the video. So this video is coming out after that video, obviously. But I'm still waiting for that thing to be rendered. So while I'm doing that, I'm trying to figure out a way to entertain myself. The only way to do that is to record Minecraft videos. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, see you on the next one.